Alright guys, um, as usual today I'm going to help you with the, uh, some hints and tips for a data analysis and automation uh, assignment too, okay. So this is how actually you should have done your assignment. I just want to give you some quick tips here so then uh, be able to do your assignment three with the easy. Alright, so this is the question actually. But before we do that, I just want to make a reminder to you guys that if I'm making these videos and if they are really helping you, don't forget to subscribe eh? and then like or even comment or just put a subscription. It's something that will give me uh, energy to keep on making some videos that will help you in future. Okay, so without wasting much of our time, let's just dive right into the information. So you, you can read the entire information. But um, um, the key thing here is um, is that Mr. Jensen asked you to create a button to request the employee's salary this age in the taxable worksheet. The calculated result should be displayed via a mail. So you will answer everything in the work, workbook that will be provided. So let's just get... Uh, go down to the required section and read again here. Yeah. Please download the attached Excel file assignment. That one, that one, you have to download it. Code the solution to the problem as required in the email from Mr. Jensen and make uh, make use of Visual Basics application VBA. Make sure your coding complies to the coding-based practices. No marks will be awarded for coding functions and commands not covered in 2602 and 3701. 2601 and 3701 therefore refrain from using arrays and collections so um, lastly they said please make use of functions to calculate the text payable your sub procedures should only facilitate uh, the input from and the output from to the users to the user the for the selection structures please use if statements so a uh, the file that you will download is like this now it will have if you check down here there is taxable part a, part a, part b part c part d this is where you have to write your part c b write your part c write your part d then the taxables this i they will just they, they, they already did this for you except for the button i have put the button because i don't want to take a lot of of, of, of time yeah okay so this is the button actually that you are re requested to create so that when you click it like this right uh, actually i haven't connected my macros here i will show you all right and it will request you to enter the employee's salary and then later on the age and then it calculates as the as, as actually uh, requested in question so now uh, one thing that easily frustrates people, let's say you get uh, all this done and then you are opening the, the, the Excel. Uh, most people, they fail to open this Excel and allow the macros to run. But when you open an Excel file with the macros, né, when you want the uh, macros to run, you should enable the document, like enable editing, right, as usual. Then after that, look for this yellow bar with the security warning, like macros have been disabled. So actually, it by default, it dis disabled the macros so, 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 so for security reasons. So you just have to enable the macros here. Once you do that, then everything will be running. Like in this case, if I click my button, you can see it's a requesting that enter your yearly salary. Then after that, it will request the age and calculate. Like let's say if we say uh, 40,000 or 400,000 is fine, whatever we put. Then age, we say 55. It can then calculate the tax payable is 32,534.88 cents. So it's working. So right now I want to show you how to do this now right so when you download this uh, sheet remember you uh, you have to create the button connect it to the macros once you do the macros i will show you how to do the coding and everything so that it will be running uh, nicely like this okay so the first thing 
you when you open your 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 excel file you should look for this developer uh, to so the on your on your excel if it's not on your excel just right click at any of these spaces let me put like in this and then customize ribbon uh, then you check the developer too like in this case it's already checked if i uncheck it like this and then click ok you can see that on my excel there is no developer too so don't be frustrated when you get when you just open your excel and you find or open your document you find that developer too is not just do this simple thing make sure your your mouse is it at any of these open spaces right click there customize ribbon then check what uh, the developer too then click ok the developer is already what is already there okay this is where you're going to 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 to, to develop your macros to op, to to write your code let me put it in that way for simplicity sake but before you do that you will have to create this button eh? so to create the button you must be on the developer too then you must click insert you see here turn form this is the button form you can either use the form control or the active a control but i don't want you to work with this one there is a very simple way of doing this which is actually to use shapes so you can click insert here then go to shapes then look for a shape that looks like a button you can drag you can come and draw that shape let's say i can draw it here you can draw it here you see right then you can you can customize you can you can do, uh, design your, your your button in any way you want like but uh, that's not uh, the gist reason for our, our our lesson today so right click um and then edit text then you must write let's say employee salary or let's say in text payable whatever you have to write text payable like this name right then it's fine i'm just uh, in a hurry to make the video short right so like i was saying you can change this and this to whatever you want you can customize it you can put it in different colors and what 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 whatever you can do okay well then once you're done with this leave it like this because but this button is not yet is not or is not yet working it's still just a shape but to make it uh, work you will have to right click it then you go to assign macro uh, then you will assign like now if i assign the one that i have already created for calculating that one like this one and then click ok my button is already working now you see it's already working if i put in like a seven 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 and then click ok here then put edge as 45 and then click ok here you can see it's calculating eh? yeah it's working right so that's how you assign but let me do redo again assign macro for you to have this calculate uh, button click i've already created the macros let me show you how to create the macros then so let's close this um let's close this so you go to developer 2 yeah then when you go to developer 2 click visual basics right so when you click visual basics you are going to see an interface like this one then navigate to shift to 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 to, to this table as you can see there is no module for this one there is no module for this one this one so you will have to click at any of this sheet ne? right click again and then um uh, click insert you see then module right so when you do like this you can see here there is a list of modules so in like in this case it's on the mo it's, it's it's module five so this is where you have to write all the codes ne? this is where you have you have you, you you must write all the codes right let me go to this one and say if you code this is the module one so all the operation that is happening um all the operation that is happening here like if i click this button uh let me do like this if i click all this name it's because of the code it's because of all these codes that i have uh, written here so 
this is uh, the entire code actually it's a function then i define the function here and then uh, i don't want to to actually do a lot of things here yeah. it's just getting stuck somewhere okay let me check here it's because of yeah we must end this and then when you get back here to be moving so this is actually the code you see determining the, uh, the, 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 the the so they are actually tell us we must use the if statements hence you can see i'm using the if statement so this is actually for it to perform all the calculations né? and so it's showing all the rebates and everything so i end the function but just after ending the function then you also have to you will also have to 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 write this um a subsection this one it actually creates the message box because they said it should show in the message box so that message box that is popping up when i click the button it's uh, created here like sub then calculation button click if it's clicked then all oh, this must be actually be executed that's where you can see the, the 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 message so but if you want me to explain the structures of the codes and everything then we should actually do it in the other video i will actually do it actually but for now i just wanted want you to know how the process actually works you see so that's uh, the, 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 the 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 process in short so if we get back here if we get back here you can see that if you click text board there was the button that i've created you can see it's working if you put whatever you put for five thousand um, or four million or whatever then if you click ok and then you put the ages then you you click ok you can see it's showing right so this is actually what you were supposed to do but guys um I think I've uh, hinted you on on, 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 on on the most important aspects you are supposed to know before you started you actually start with your assignment. Make sure you answer every part. In. These ones actually they are answering this part C and what what is answering all these like explain the benefits. But this is pure theory, so you're not gonna be in, like struggle with this. I think the most important part was this part A. Uh, that was the most important oh yeah there is another thing i'm just uh, trying to think what else you guys could actually struggle with when uh you dealing with this one let's get back to textables all right when you're done when you are saving your work because when you created your macro sometimes you find if you just do like file then you say save like this uh when you open it or when you close it and open it again you might find all the macros are gone they they haven't been saved so to make sure that they are saved né, you must click file uh, and then save as uh, then here you must choose the pro uh, you see excel macro enabled workbook this is the one that you must use don't use this one because if you use this one then your macros won't cannot be saved you must use this one that will eventually enable the the, the, the macros so you will just have to click this one and then you save then your macros will be what will be saved so that when you want to use use them for in future you can also be able to access everything so that's another thing again that frustrates so many students so easily guys when this is really helpful please 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 uh don't forget to just just click a subscribe button so that i can uh, still have uh, something that energize me more power <laughs> to keep on doing some sorts of uh, videos like this one that can hint you so that you cannot uh struggle with your with your with your assignments i'm still gonna make a lot of videos for you like for economics for statistics uh for um, for python coding those who are doing pyqt uh, i'm still gonna just uh, do for accounting so yeah let's meet in the next video guys thanks a lot for watching